All right, so this is a red decal kit that goes around the trim of the motor. Kind of, I've had this for a long time. I got it from Bass Cat years ago and just never put it on one of my boats, still hung on to it. So now it's gonna get some use. Uh, but what I've done is the motor comes stock with the black one. The newer ones, it comes with like a uh, carbon fiber. That's why I never used it. I kind of like that carbon fiber look, but this one was all shot and peeling. So it's still got some sticker residue. Anytime you do anything on your boat, on the fiberglass or anywhere, uh, I use this 3M. It's a general purpose adhesive cleaner. It's meant for vehicles, so it won't harm any of the finish, but I'm just gonna use this, get all this sticky residue off, clean it up, make sure it's uh, got all the junk off, and then we'll put that, uh, that little trim kit on. All right, that stuff took the uh, all that sticky residue off pretty easy. So next thing I'm going to do is just hit it with a little bit of Windex and paper towel, make sure there's nothing left on there, and then we'll just go ahead and apply the decal. All right, there's a decal kit. So once we get the cowling on, it'll probably really pop. On our motor, we were missing some of the decals. So I went online, I'll put a link to where I found these exact decals, but I ordered the new decal kit for this cowling for the Mercury Optimax uh, Pro XS 225. I got in all the decals. The Mercury ones on here are still really good, so I'm gonna leave these on. The Pro XS is good on one side, but the other side is half peeled off. And then obviously I'm missing everything on the back. So we're gonna replace the Pro XS's, everything on the back, and there's a couple on the front that we're gonna do. For this project, we don't need much. I mean, basically we just need to make sure we have a clean cowling. So any residue or anything you have on the cowling, we need to go ahead and get that off. And the easiest way to do it, if it won't, if you can't just pick it off or use um, you know, Windex or something, is 3M makes this general purpose adhesive cleaner. There's the number there. You can pick it up usually at like an AutoZone or a Riley's. And then I have a, this is kind of a little applicator to put decals on with and it just has some uh, soft Velcro on one side to help apply it. So the first thing we wanna do is get this clean. I just like to take a little bit of Windex or what a lot of the wrap people use is just a mix of alcohol and water to wipe your boat down or wipe an area down that you're gonna place a decal on just so you get rid of any of the residue or anything slimy that might be on the surface. All right, one other trick that you can do, and I learned this from the wrap folks, depending on the temperature that you're working in, if it's cooler than 70 degrees, then get yourself a torch, and this works for taking decals off and putting decals on, but you wanna, definitely wanna have a, a warm surface, at least 70 degrees. A lot of times I'll just kind of go over the surface just so it's a little bit warmer to the touch. It is only about 50 something degrees out here today. If some of your decals, like this one doesn't have a cut line on the back. So I'll show you a trick to putting this on. Take you some painter's tape because this doesn't leave any type of a sticky residue and comes off everything pretty easily. Figure out where you want your decal, make sure everything's lined up and even. Looks good to me. And then take somewhere about the halfway point and we're gonna cut the decal in half. All right, we had to move inside because it started to rain outside and putting decals on in the rain just don't work. I don't have a trick for that one. All right, so like I was saying, we take our painter's tape we're gonna cut the decal in half and then we take our scissors and we basically peel it up and then we're gonna peel a portion of that sticker away and then cut the backing. So if you had a peel away backing, you just don't need to do this step. These did not. So then the next thing that we will do is use some type of a flat surface and now everything will stay lined up and stay straight and all we do is just place half of the decal down. With half the decal down, we can remove our tape. And if we have more decals to do, now we can just set this tape aside because we can use it again. Now we'll come up, 
peel the other half of the backing. Temperature is a little bit lower than I'd like. So to set it, I'm just gonna hit it with a little bit of heat. Everything looks good, and then we peel off the tack paper. One of the tricks that I like to do when you're working with longer decals is I'll take the decal and actually almost fold it in half and just sort of pinch it um, halfway point so I know exactly where that halfway point is so that you can use it to line up, especially for this project where we're trying to stay a center line here on the motor. So I folded this in half. I know about where the center line is. And then I'll just use some tape on the edges to make sure I have it level and exactly where I want it. And then I'll take my splitter tape like we've been using and with this one, I'm not going to go halfway. I might cheat it a little bit um, just so that I can get it started and everything lined up right. Then this one has individual letters. So when I make my cut, instead of cutting it where partway across one of the letters, just make sure you make the cut right before or after a letter. Just make it easier to work with. And then for laying it down, since you do have a lot to work with here, you don't want it to go crooked. Basically, just you're just slightly pulling it as you sort of lay down on it and make sure that there's no bends. If any start to peel up with this front paper on it, just push back over. Give it a little bit of pressure on the corner. And it should come off no problem. Now that looks a lot better. If you start peeling a sticker and it's just starting to kind of like flake apart or as you peel it, it it breaks, it's brittle, then you know you need to put a little bit of heat to it. So again, we just come back with the torch. You don't need to get it too, too hot, but warm it up some. I mean, the ideal would be about 70 degrees outside and just let the sun sit on it and all this stuff will peel off no problem. But now when we go to peel it off that we've warmed it up, now, it peels off nice and clean. It's not brittle. And all of the stickiness underneath comes right off with it. If you get it too hot, a lot of times the sticker will separate and you'll be left with the stickiness underneath. And then you just have to use some elbow grease and the 3M adhesive remover and it'll come off no problem. Check and see if we have any air bubbles. If we do, kind of just find the closest edge to the, to the actual sticker underneath, and that's where we want to push that air bubble out from. And if we miss one with this cover on, we can do the same thing after we take this off. You just have to be a little more careful so that you don't actually ruin the actual decal as you're trying to push a little bit harder on it to push an air bubble out. And then worst case scenario, if we get one in there, it's just in the center and it's not going anywhere, you can take a little pin and just kind of put a pinhole in that air bubble and then work it with your finger, everything to the center and get the, get the air out. And All right, while we're on the subject of decals, I want to show you another little trick. So when I was putting this red striping around the motor, this decal I, I messed up on it on this corner I was coming at an angle so I tried kind of angling it up a little bit more and I ended up putting a little bit of bow in the top and now any little bit of water rain is getting in there in that area that didn't have good contact just keeps getting bigger and bigger so it was bothering me I need to fix it 
what I did was I applied some heat to it and I was able to peel peel it back off. So I've got the tacky sticker side still on the back of it um, and I've got you know the, the rest of the decal but it's not near as tacky. So when I go to lay this back down it's just not going to stick. I have to add something to it so that I can fix it. Uh, and this is one of those those thick puffy decals just like Basscat uses for the Basscat logo, for like the Puma logo or Cougar, whatever the boat brand is, you guys know what I'm talking about. So they're a little harder to work with, but this trick works really good on these. It works on regular stickers too, but a lot of those you can't peel and then restick. These you can. What you want to get is some spray glue. So this is some 3M uh, spray glue. I use it for a lot of my targets. I use a cardboard backer and then I'll spray the cardboard and then just stick the paper targets up there. It works pretty good. So what we're going to do is use a little bit of this and just put a light coating on the back side of this sticker and that's going to allow us to reapply it and then it's going to stay tacky. So both sides will be sticky, tacky, and it will stick back down and I can get rid of that little, that little uh, minor mistake that I made. Make sure you don't forget the ends. Definitely have to make sure that we got glue there. Okay, again, we're cold, so I'm going to heat that surface up to make sure that this goes good. Now I'm going to make sure I got the right angle this time. Now we got rid of that area I had sticking out on the top, and I won't be getting water in that area anymore. That's it. All better.